Well, it started, I suppose, with Stravinsky writing the piece of music, which is an awesome and amazingly powerful piece of music. And we selected the Firebird because it's got a lot of mythological content that's very resonant with the art form of puppetry. And the music is very um, layered and profound, which gives one a lot to work with in terms of the narrative and also in terms of the emotional content. So, of course, there's the puppetry, there's the dance, there's the um, animated paintings. Uh, so those are all the media we're working with. We started to conceptualize it in South Africa, but to find what's the what are the issue the uh, where does the firebird sit in our country right now, and where does um, the the forces of um, of destruction of um, oh, you know the rage um, where does it sit. There's the story about a person looking for her creative self and how she's filled then with doubts and then she, the, 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 the creativity becomes stronger and then the doubts become stronger until eventually the two things come into conflict and, uh, you know, kill each other essentially. And out of that void that gets created, she has to find a harmony and a balance between the forces in herself. And that's the dragon, which is in fact a blend of the different conflicting forces that have been present. She's a person who's living within South Africa and her story is reflecting some of how we as a, as a cast and as a creative team experience the post-apartheid period that we've been living through. We have a wonderfully integrated cast of very powerful dancers and puppeteers and they each bring with them a journey, a history, and a dance history and a dance journey. So the choreographic style is largely throwaway, um, in, um, and while at the same time using some of the more classical forms, classical Zulu dance, cl classical Chwana dance, classical ballet, uh, to to locate these contemporary lives in some kinds of uh, variety of traditions. I, I kind of try to show also and to some to, to some degree that that there was a moment when these different forms sat on, on the same stage together. Um, but it's becoming more and more difficult. I think it's a very significant moment in our history uh, about uh, uh, um, young black women who are taking lead in so many. In you know, uh, uh, it's not it's no surprise, but uh, but certainly in terms of the, the the kind of articulation of particular vision for this country is coming from 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 that space, from 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 uh, from young black women. Um, so so I think that's in the firebird, and I think that. This, um, the conflict and resolution certainly is, um, and I don't think, and I hope to God that we are not uh, just showing a resolution at the end because it isn't really a resolution. It is just a, it's a suggestion of this coming together of the rage and the, and the and the creativity and the the, the sense of creation uh, in 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 the in, in the dragon. Um, yeah, I think it resonates with a few themes, but more especially, I hope it resonates with our nation in this contemporary moment.